Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Empire Udi, and it's my honor to bring you this epic, epic matchup between two players that has been here playing this game since the very, very beginning of time. Without further ado, let's introduce them. Introducing to you from the blue corner, we have the versatile Greeks. Leading by a myth from the past, this man has not only been Alpha and Beta as a player, but he has also been an AOEO's balanced team member. He is one of the most knowledgeable players in the game, and as well as knowing tricks and tips will knock your brains off and change the tides of battle. The founder of SG Client, ladies and gentlemen, I give you SG Zuda. Let's take a quick look at Zuda's opening. He starts with a quick berry bush right next to his berry berries and immediately puts five villagers on it. Then he rally all his villagers that's coming from the town center to his storage house right next to the tree line. Now that is something interesting to see. And this is something that usually player doesn't do. He's creating a second storage house onto that tree line. Hmm. I feel that is a very, very smart idea uh, because a lot of times when we're distributing villagers onto the tree line, they have the tendency to get stuck among villagers and they're kind of just you know sitting there and slacking off and not working so this way he can ensure all villagers get the equal share of the tree lines and you know they they want to slack off and just chill there while he's uh, busy fighting off his opponent anyways coming from, from the other side of the map lurking in darkness and waiting for his opportunity to strike is the yellow player, he is leading the brand new infantry heavy ferocious cells civilization. The player himself is one of AOEO's past YouTube sensation, leader of OT clan and currently the champion of 2 vs 2. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you I Bubble Eye. As we can see here, Bubble already have his 3 houses built. Uh, with cells, if you want to go to H2, you have to have 3 houses and then 310 food uh, in order to age up. So seeing this, knowing that Bubble is probably in the process or starting to age to H2 uh, because he already has all 3 houses built. Uh, knowing this, um, Zuda is actually retreating his scout back to his base. Now at the same time, Bubble is able to scout out Zuda. So Bubble sees Zuda now and Zuda sees Bubble. Uh, the two players starting create that, to create that tension. Um, Zuda, I don't think Zuda is H to H2 yet because he is actually building that uh, barrack. So uh, now while trying to scout, you can see here Bubble is scouting out Zuda, Zuda is scouting out Bubble. Uh, both pair are just kind of uh, wanting to know what each other is doing. So let's look at Bubble's base. Bubble has nothing at his base except for those three uh, houses thus far. Uh, Zuda do need to go re go back and uh, see. But Zuda knowing this, that Bubble has no units whatsoever, he uh, creates his Spearman and the Spearman is charging all the way across the map, kind of like a rush cheese uh, early gameplay. Uh, let's see if Zuda is able to put that Spearman into good use and do some good damage there. Uh, oh wow, so Bubble is actually building two barracks already. Oh no, one barracks is built, uh, Zuda is able to finally see Bubble's base, and that the two villagers are working fiercely on that second barracks, but here comes Zuda's Spearman. Um, it's just, sadly, it's just one Spearman. I don't think it's going to be able to do much. So now we have Zuda going to H2, and Bubble is going being to H2 as well. So it seems like Bubble is going to go a three barracks, infantry heavy, a melee infantry heavy, um, um, army. Uh, Bubble's retreating his spearman. There's a little engaged there, but I would definitely not fight with uh, Ivan Bubble because uh, Greek's spearman does have a hundred extra house compared to um, the Celts. And of course, the Celts spearman is much cheaper. Uh, you only cost like I think it's 33 or 34 food. I roughly I forgot, but uh, doesn't cost whole, just only cost food. And uh, the Greek Spearman costs 45 food and also 15 gold. As we can see here, Bubble is building a pure Rax army. Uh, it's gonna either be Spearman or Long Swordsman, and he has three of those Raxes. Zuda, on the other hand, he's actually building a very, very versatile army with one Rax, one Staple, and also one Archer Range. Zuda is actually building an army uh, that could pretty much handle all type of situations. Uh, he's gonna, from my experience, he's going to have Ceres, he's going to have Hippopist and Spearman possibly, uh, but he's gonna go very low on those Spearman because, you know, uh, because Bubble is actually just going plain Rax. Um, 
So Spearman doesn't do very well against other uh, melee barrack units. Um, and also he's going to have some archers in the mix of his army to shoot down those, um, those melee units that's producing from bubble. So things are actually looking very, very well for Duda right now. Uh, just simply for the fact that he has such a uh, versatile uh, mixed army. So now Bub uh, now Duda is actually building his second archer range. So Duda sees that Bubble has three racks set up. He understands that and he feels that to counter those uh, that heavy infantry army, he's going to have more archers uh, than rest of his units. So Duda is moving a little bit to the center of the map. Uh, by the way, guys, this map is called the Oasis. If you're going to be observing two versus two, this is w definitely one of the best map to go on uh, because the distance in the middle is just so short. You know, even though the map is stretched, uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, back to Duda's base. Now Duda is mining gold with five villagers. So Duda is very uh, distributing his villagers very, very equally, um, except he has doubled the amount of villagers on food uh, compared to anything else. As you can see, you know, he's just kind of uh, building those storages before that, before he even start gathering, gathering uh, from those berry bushes. So you can see Zuda's build here. I mean, the way that he built his um, buildings, it's it's very nice that he built this way because he is able to um, prevent a raid. Because the raid, uh, the units have to actually go through those barracks, those you know little alleyways, in order to attack his villagers on wood. So Zuda's units are on the move. I see a, at least three dozen of units, or two and a half dozen of units. We got five Sarasophros. We got about um, about ten melee infantry unit mixed with spearmen and also hippopotamus, and then we has we have another six archers. Um, from the Greeks. So here comes the little battle. Where is Bubbles army? Oh, so here comes Bubbles army. He has a huge amount of long swordsmen and also spearmen. Oh my gosh, Duda could be in trouble as those long swordsmen are just overwhelms um, Duda's hippopotamus. But hippopotamus are so strong. They're like doing like the real Sparta 1 versus 3. But they're just so, so many units from Bubble. And Bubble is able to pretty much clear out all of uh, Duda's melee units. But those Sarasophoros are very strong and they're just pretty much holding on. Oh my gosh, and those two hippopotamus barely living. Uh, still killing Judas units, but wow, wow, wow! They're, you know, because the f production facility is close to Bubbles' base, so Bubbles able to pump out so much more units. As you can see here, Judas on the retreat, he's stopping giving out reinforcement, uh, building his pretty much second defense right outside of his base, and just regrouping rest rest of his units that's left over from that fight. That was such an unfortunate event. Um, you know, Judah definitely seemed to have the nicer army at that fight, but due to Bubble has such in such a short time, eight minutes, only eight minutes. Remember, guys, it's only min eight minutes in the game. Due to Bubble have such a large army, he was able to overwhelm uh, Judah's units. And you know, mainly it was, the reason that Dula lost that fight was because Bubble has so many long swordsmen. Uh, long swordsmen are very effective against melee units. So pretty much, um, Bubble's long swordsmen killed off all the hippopotamus, and then the spearmen came in to clear up the Sarasophoros, leaving Zuda's uh, archers vulnerable by themselves. So Zuda just had to retreat. Uh, but no worries, Zuda is is holding onto the game. Uh, now he's actually building more houses and he's building more archer ranges. So not only that he's not going head to head with Bubble, he decided to apply a strategy rather. He see that Bubble is actually um, using infantry heavy, using infantry heavy army. He decided to build more archers so direct counter those infantry. At the same time, he builds a whole bunch of Sarasophoros so that they could tank. Uh, a good amount of hit and a uh, Sarasofa are very beefy uh, strong early 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 game units uh, because they have more than they have close to 500 health compared to a Hippopis which only has 269 health so here's a large army on the move I'm getting lag from this dramatic you know this huge I will have to say at least six dozen um, Man force army mixed with Sarasophoros and also um, archers. 
and now Bubbles base is in the dark. Uh, but you know, last time Bubble was able to hold on. Now what's gonna happen? Where is Bubbles Army? So here comes Bubbles Army once again. It seems like he like to use this you know tree as more of a whoa. That's such a huge huge army. But here comes Bubble Army. The reason Bubble retreated on that is because now um, now. Now Zuda's army are directing the sandwich of Bubbles production. Yes, yeah, see, so now here comes more and Bubbles uh, units and those long swordsmen just you know charging into battle and they're just so so many of them as those Sarasophers are not able to hold on. And those, uh, you know, well, the thing is that w one thing about Zuda's forces is archers are just so safe from the fire line, and he's able to kill off so many of those long swordsmen. I think what Bubbles really trying to do is right now he's trying to get to H three to get those wood raiders uh, to do to be a direct counter of of Zuda's uh, archers, but it seems like that is not gonna happen. There are just so so many archers from Zuda. You know, they're pouring in on that fire rain of death. Uh, which is their arrows and finally bubble surrender after an entire action-packed backs and forth sword smashing arrow flying 11 minute game definitely a great game played by both players since the map is revealed to us now we can clearly see bubble strategy was trying to hang on to the game so that he can advance to h3 and create wood raiders to counter zuda's archers being a pro player as Zuda is, Zuda recognizes that and annihilated Bubble while Bubble is in his momentary weakness. Zuda's outnumbers archers came out victorious over Bubble's massive, massive melee infantry heavy army. I really hope that everyone enjoyed this game as much as I did. I'd like to thank both players for showing up and giving their best and thank you for taking your time and watch this video. If you'd like to support our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, for favorite, and comment. It means a lot to me and Baron. Anyways, guys, this is Woody. Once again, thank you all so much. Peace out.